Hi everybody! Welcome to my, uh, secret project. Woo! Um, so yeah, I, I know a bunch of you had recommended that, um, I check this game out, and it's actually funny because, uh, my, my best friend Stephanie had, um, let me know about it as well and wanted me to play. Um, so one of the things that I want to address here is why I'm playing the English version, and, um, because I usually like to play stuff in the original language that it's out in. So normally I play it as Japanese. However, because I wanted to record it, it's a lot easier to do a window capture than, you know, capturing it from, like, within the browser. And I can't... I don't know, maybe I'm dumb. I just can't seem to find, uh, like a downloadable, you know, like, EXE to play the game in Japanese, so... Whatever. Um, I trust VG person. Um, you know, their, their translations are usually, uh, um, even if I disagree with a couple of things here or there, it's us they're usually really good, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play this, and, uh, this is my secret project thing. Um, sorry if you were disappointed and you were expecting something else, although I don't know necessarily what you would have expected. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay, uh, I'll get started with this in a second, I just need to, to check how this recording is going and then we'll, we'll get into it, alright? Cool. Okay, we're back. Um, I toned down the, uh, uh, stuff a little bit because I wanted to, um, the music, the BGM. I toned down the BGM just a little bit because, uh, I don't know, it's sounding really loud to me. If it's really soft, then maybe I'll make it, um, make it higher for the next part. We'll see. But anyway, let's get started. Hey. Hiya. Just a random question, but do you know what a majority vote is? I'm not an idiot. No need to get mad. It's helpful to com start conversations with an easy question. Yeah, this is true. This is why every time I meet a new person, I ask for their question, their opinion on Dunsparce. Oh, looks like somebody's over there. I love majority votes. They represent the way democracy should be, following the will of the people. It's a method that minimizes conflict. I hate majority votes. They're just a way to silence the minority. It only makes more darkness build in the shadows. <sighs> Sounds like they're having some tedious argument. Incidentally, whose opinion do you support? Mr. Blues or Ms. Reds? Uh, well, I'm the queen of unpopular opinions, so I'll go with Ms. Red. Aw, he died. But good for you! Your opinion had more supporters. With that experience, your sides learned the terror of a majority vote. Dude, I'm American, okay? I already know the terror of a majority vote. <laughs> huh? If that makes you happy, then don't you then don't you have to recognize the appeal of majority votes? Sure is complicated. Listen, I don't have to do shit if I don't want to, man. Hmm, what's with that look? If you'd known that the other person would die, you wouldn't have voted? Sheesh, that won't get you anywhere, okay? That's what this game is all about. You don't look pleased, huh? All right, if you insist, let's hold a vote. Your opinion versus mine. Okay then, let's go. Is she using the mouse for something? Uh, okay. We're not doing USAD. Okay. Mouse it is, I guess. Hey, cutie. Ugh. I can't believe it's 
uh, 8.30 or noon or 5 p.m. <laughs> I had a weird dream. My jaw is sore. Okay, so... I have tea at, well, I don't, I, I don't know. I may, I have, like, whatever the step before actually having TMJ is because I, like, chew my tongue and stuff. So, it's a relatable feel. Ugh, because I was sleeping with my head on my desk. Hmm, this seems inspired from somewhere, but I can't put my finger on what. It's this late already? I gotta go home. Better hurry. Man, I can... I can scuffle. Whoa, it's going completely dark. Touch the spots that look in interesting to investigate. Okay, let's look at everything. Because to me, everything is interesting. Oh, okay. The campus pond. There's a rumor that if you look into it at midnight, your reflection will talk to you. Could be a great thing to a loner. Oh, I see. I see, Sara. This is... You're that kind of... Okay, school's not that interesting. Can I, can I go and look at it? Okay. The lights are on. Maybe it's the guard. Thanks for your tireless service. Seeing the school like this feels totally different at night. The lights! I have to walk home when it's this dark? I'm gonna get my data. Alright, here we go. Sonobeno ko togo kako. Alright. ID number is Samurai Onna. Oh, hold on. Oh, is it two N's because it's a... Uh, is it two N's because it's an N? Uh, Ninense Chidoin Sara. Okay, we're 164 Tengo Senchi. Confirmed student of this school. Huh, alright. Well, you're not that. You're like average height, I guess. Okay. I'm not going to save yet. It's a little bit soon. Can I go into the school? Let me go into the school. God, I'm having like flashbacks to work where I'm like, how do I get into the school building? How do I get into this school building? Because if you guys aren't aware, um, Japanese schools are intended to be uh, difficult to get into so that people don't just wander in. Um, but yeah. Front gate of the school. Can't go home without going through it. It's a classic the end observation to make. I don't want to leave yet. Alright, well, can I go look at the pond now? Oh, there's this Fushinsha. See, you're the exact reason that schools are difficult to find the fucking main entrance. Someone's there. What you doing, Sarah? Wow, you look like you totally won't be annoying as fuck. Joe! I like that he's got like the little like dog thing in his pocket. It makes me think of Narhar. Because <laughs> Narhar likes to walk around with uh, little Pokemon plushes in his pocket. It's, it's Joe Tazana, or rather Joe, my classmate at school. We often found ourselves together. Are we telling this in past tense? You stuck around this late for clubs? Huh, I was gonna wither up from waiting. Well, that's fine. Listen, there's something I want to tell you. Do you have something to tell me? Yeah, my thanks! Thanks? For what, I wonder? Oh, you know, you introduced us, right? Me and Yoko. Right. She's such a good girl. I moved. Cute, huh? Dude, are you like 
Are you seriously trying to pretend that, like, this look you've got going on is working? Adorable! I ate a donut kebab in one bite today. I'm a real glutton. Wow, man, you are like... Stick to the fucking topic. Also, hi. XB Chie from Persona 4. A whole donut kebab? They're not that big. Oh, well, I guess in one bite. I wonder... You should challenge Nate. See if you can eat one, one kebab in a bite. Wait, you went on a date? <laughs> Was on it till just a second ago. Wait, so you went on a date and then you like went to come find me? I thought you were withering up from waiting. I came back to school so I could brag about it to you. You should have just gone home. Alright, bragging complete. Let's go home, Sara! Oh, okay. Path home! Then, Yoko and I finally... How long is this story even? Are you listening? We made huge progress. This guy's such a pain. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna be not a total asshole. Did you kiss or what? Don't be stupid! Doing that on the first date? They call people like that monsters! I'm thinking about my own dating experiences in Japan. Hmm. We held hands! Outrageous progress, right? What, did you, like, tired to you with your fucking bajillion bracelets? I mean, it was mostly that I fell in a ditch and she was helping me out, but... For how gaudy you look, you're awfully shy. Huh? What are you talking about? Gaudy, this ain't! Z snap. I'm hurt, man. That seriously gets to me. Damn it. Maybe I should just go back to a crew cut, like in middle school. What, were you in, like, the fucking baseball club? <laughs> and now he started moping. Alright. We're looking at this missing persons poster. Poster wanting to watch out for strangers. What? What is it? Uh. Faint street light illuminates the area. I just noticed that uh, the narrator is not Sara. <laughs> Rarely ever walked home at this hour. It feels really dark. Jesus Christ, girl, how late were you at school? Okay, I will say though, I have been at school really late before um, for certain things, and like, like I'm leaving like when the normal teachers are were leaving, and. Um, yeah, it's creepy in the fucking school at night. It's not like at work now, where I'm in an office building. So, like, no matter what time I leave, more or less, like, the lobby sometimes will have the lights off, but for the most part, like, there's always people around still working. Not in a school. And a school gets mega fucking creepy at night. I don't know if anyone's ever been in a school after dark, but, like, goddamn, it's fucking creepy. Because they're huge, and they're usually old, and they're usually, like like super complicated and there's like all these like floors that you got to go to and stuff and like oh man just not not a fun time hey what's up want to hold hands what no i'm just kidding don't actually get mad at me but real talk wouldn't it help if wouldn't it help things if you got a boyfriend wait help what things you can't sleep right because you're a stalker. Is that why you always go home with me? <laughs> you, you idiot, I just wanted to brag. I'm gonna say thank you, because that's nice. You're a nice friend. For what, man? Well, if you just feel like being grateful, then I won't stop you. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, let's mosey along now. Okay, Cloud. Your parents will be worried if you're late. Aren't I already late? Right. Uh-oh. Fushinsha Tojo. I have to run! Joe, run! Huh? Huh? <laughs> 
Uh, whew. We made it home. Wait, do we live together? It's okay. Should be fine now that we're here. Joe. Uh. I guess I'm real. I don't know. I'd still be pretty freaked out. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Am I going to. What if he kills me someday? I'm not gonna let that happen, okay? Joe? Call on me anytime! I'll come with a boatload of freshmen. That guy was staring. And it seemed like he was trying to talk to me? Well, your parents are waiting, Sara. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Be careful. Yeah! See you tomorrow, at school. Okay, guess I'll go in. Hmm? The house lights aren't on? Yeah, see, this is my thing about, like, how late is it? House nameplate. Chidori. Fancy lamp hangs up on the front porch. So it's not a power outage. I can see the living room through the window. Really? I can't. But the lights aren't on. No. Can I go behind the house? Climb the tree! Look at your adorable roof tiles. My good old front door. The door's unlocked! Maybe I should just go back to school. Oh. <laughs> It's my only choice. <laughs> what if I go back to school? Call your Tanin. Tanin sensei. Daskete. <laughs> it's dark. Why aren't the lights on? Can I also say, I'm sorry that I keep commenting on this stuff, but I'm assuming that people aren't here to see the actual game because you could just play it for yourself. You're here for me playing it. Um, so, I'm really digging this atmosphere because so I'm old as shit right so when I was a kid I grew up playing a lot of like really dumb like little DOS games especially because I didn't have an NES or a Super NES so um like at my house so I used to have to just play like these like weird DOS games um that would run on like my family's really ancient um I shouldn't say DOS games because like we had a Mac or an Apple, I guess, when I was a kid. But anyway, there was the, like these weird like DOS games that you could play with like very simplified pixel art and um, you know sometimes some really basic kind of creepy um, 3D. But like this reminds me of that, and oh man, it's so nostalgic. I love it. Mom, Dad, are you not home? Hey, who's ever broken into my house? I'm here. The plant's fallen over. Something's weird about the house. Over here is the bathroom. The living room. Normally, Mom would be in there watching TV and waiting for me. Yeah, did you not think it was weird that, like, your parents, like, wanted to know where you were? Back there is the door to my parents' room. Ugh. Sagigoya. Stairs lead to the second floor. My room is up there. Oh, alright, well. Shikatanai na. Oh, I can go to the living room. Sweet. It's pitch black. This is bizarre. There can't be no one here. I'll turn on the lights! Maybe I don't want to do that yet. Door to the hallway. Too dark to see. Oh, I guess I have to turn on the lights off. I guess it's this huge conspicuous switch. Light switch. Turn it on. Uh, let's cancel. And let's actually save. <laughs> let's make a save. Ooh, I like that save so save noise. That's cool. Light switch. Actually, before I do that. Uh, can I see anything else? Too dark to see. Too dark to see. 
too dark to see. All right. So I read, um, I've read a lot of Japanese mystery novels, right? And so there's this kind of like conceit, I guess. Um, it's, it's a form of like the locked room mystery. And, uh, in it the, you have, um, a person who just disappeared entirely from a locked room and you, you know, you have no idea how, and everyone's telling you about it. And there's all these like weird, like inconsistencies with what's going on. And, you know, you're trying to figure out like how everything works and shit like that. And then you find out that, um, like some other person comes into the scene and, uh, they're not getting all caught up in like the craziness of what's going on. And they realize that the person's still there. Like their body is just on the floor like hasn't moved. So I'm guessing that my parents' bodies are probably like in this like dark carpet zone down here. Um, maybe I should go to my room first. Like, <sighs> I keep forgetting I have to locked. Who came in the door and locked? Wait, who came in and locked the door to my room? Not dad, right? Okay, that's kind of creepy, Sara, that you think your dad would go into your room and lock the door. All right, okay. Alrighty, then I suppose I have to go find my parents' bodies, huh? Turn on the lights, let there be light. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, turning them on. Yeah, see? M mom Mom! Mom, Mom! Door to the into my parents' room. A photo of my grandfather who died when I was young. Bookshelves, ranging from dad's complicated books to manga and magazines. They are not all that organized. A photo of, from a family trip to Hokkaido. <gasps> it's the sheep man. He's coming for you. A wall-mounted TV. Fancy container. <laughs> Fancy containers. <laughs> A washed bottle in its usual location. Wait, a washed bottle? So a lot of this stuff I can like, I can tell what, um, I could tell what like the Japanese was originally going for, but uh, it's pretty funny to me that that one, I, I don't know what they're going for there. There's a key on the floor. Tamed room key. Why is this here? Because it's an adventure game? Mom, hang in there! She's breathing. It looks like she fainted. What do I do? What do I do? Call? Can I not go into the parents' bedroom? Okay. okay. Sarah! Joe! Please help. My mom's collapsed. Stay calm. Did you call the hospital? Or the cops? Not yet. I need... I need to call... I'll handle it. Listen, sorry, you need to be calm. Joe started to make a call. What am I doing? I'm all out of sorts. Well, I mean, you did just find your mom, like, collapsed on the floor. <laughs> but I need to do something. Something. Uh oh Sorry, I gotta turn on... My, uh, my computer started to lose, um, started to lose power, and now I gotta readjust everything. Okay. Alright, we back. Time for me to go upstairs. Second floor room, bitches. Room key! I'll open it. Use the room key. The door opened. I guess I can go in there now. 
Dad? Dad, are you here? Mom collapsed, Dad. Where are... Your turn to die, or Kimi ga shine. Death game by majority. Presented by Nanki Dai. Um. So this reminds me a little bit of a, uh, a Toshi Densets, an urban legend about. Um, well, I don't know if it's an urban legend, but like, like a kawaii banashi, where um, woman comes home, and uh, she unlocks her front door and comes in and finds her house like completely trashed, and she's like, "Oh my god! Like somebody broke into my house." And then she goes, oh, I'm so dumb. I left the I left the door open when I left work this morning. I forgot to lock it. Um, and then she goes to go into her bedroom to make a phone call to the police. And uh, it's scary. And the reason it's like a chilling story. Um, and I love I love this subsec uh, subsector of scary stories uh, is because if you paid attention, she had to unlock the door when she came home, meaning that if she left it unlocked in the morning and then came home um, and had to unlock the door, because a lot of Japanese doors usually have deadbolts, they're not just like, you know, the, the other ones, uh, for at least the front door, at the very least, uh, it means that, like, the person's still in the house and they're probably in the other room, like, waiting to ambush her. So uh, it just kind of reminded me of that a little bit. Where is this, I wonder? Am I looking at the ceiling? Why am I sleeping here? Oh, so I have to either remember the situation or remember myself. <laughs> uh, I will remember... Ooh, man. Am I more of a heart player or a mind player? Uh, heart, I guess. I'm Sara, an incredibly normal person attending school, which doesn't bode well for you. Or it bodes incredibly well for you. Hmm. I wonder. Good. Start with what you know best. Er, I think I went home? Right, and then Mom! Mom! I quickly tried to sit up, but I couldn't. Is there something on my head? Right now, it seems I'm lying down. On a bed, maybe? What is this thing on my head? I fearfully touched my head. It was some kind of belt. Or a machine? Am I tied to it? It's like I'm being restrained. No way. <clears throat> What's the meaning of this? My temperature rose. Suddenly, fear awakened in me. No, where is this? Somebody! I had no freedom to move. Besides my head, my left arm, torso, and legs also seemed to be restrained. I read that with incorrect intonation. All I could move was my right arm. Somebody! I was about to scream, and then went quiet. The stalker. He'd, he'd harmed my mom. And then he brought me here. I wonder, am I going to be killed? Sara, are you there? That voice. <laughs> that voice. That text box with your name in it. Joe, is that you? Are you next to me? Yeah, but I can't move. Can't you do something? Joe's in the same situation? A phone? Joe, is that yours ringing? Huh? You're right. Something in my pocket's... Here! Hello? Whoever you are, help us! Beginning voiced guidance. Huh? The first trial will now begin. Sara and Joe, find the key hidden in this room. Then, remove your restraints. If you cannot do so before the time limit expires, the device on the beds will activate. And your bodies will be crushed with a thud. Hmm. 
By all means, please enjoy this, enjoy this thrill with all your body and soul, but not your mind. The time limit is a healthy five minutes. And note that there is only one key, so please discuss who will use it. What the heck is this? The first trial? We'll die in five minutes? Ah, what are we gonna do? There's no time to fret about that. I searched my pocket with my free hand, but found nothing. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to ask Joe. Joe, check your clothes! Yikes! When I took the phone from my pocket, I must have dropped something. No, no, no way! Pick it up! Got it! Grabbed it! It's the key! Alright! Hurry and use that key! You sure? If I do, you'll... That voice was telling the truth, I might die. But... Joe, I'm sure you can figure something out. No pressure. Got it. I'll use it. Then I'll save you too, definitely! Damn it, that took some time. <sighs> I've gotta save Sarah somehow. Here we go. So I can- I can save. Jesus Christ, dude! How long did it take you to do that? Four digit number. Should I mess with this? Yes. No. Sandpaper. Uses that for... Green lock. What should I do? Red key? Seems too big to fit. This key useless. Okay. Can I use this? It was once a green key, and it's got red resin stuck to it. If I had something to scrape it with, maybe it could revert it to the green key. Yeah, dude. Aha! I can whittle the key with this! Whittle, 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 whittle. I scraped off the red resin, and a thinner green key showed itself. So I can use that here, yeah? Green lock. What should I do? It's unlocked! Really? I'll remove these now. Thank you, Joe. Can you stand? There's a door here. Uh, let's get out of here pronto. Ah, uh, wait, Joe. Damn it, it's pitch black. I can't see a thing. No joking around, Saru. We got away. Somebody might come catch us. Joe seems pretty restless. I mean it, Sara. Don't let us get separated. Right. We kept going straight ahead. But as far as we walked, we didn't see any light. It seemed to be a very, very long hallway. Or maybe we weren't advancing much at all. Joe? That phone you used earlier, could you try using that to light the way? Nice one, Sarah, man. You're or sorry. <laughs> nice one, Sarah! Man, you're smart. Did you bring it? Ah, uh, I left it back there. Guess that's that, then. Hmm, what can give us some light? We were searching ourselves when suddenly... Wh whoa ah! Wind blowing from underneath? My feet left the ground. Am I flying up? No, we're falling? The floor gave way! Eek! How long? How high? How far are we falling? I feel my sense is growing distant. Hey, get up. This is the part of Danganronpa where you meet everybody. <clears throat> okay. Hello! Can't sit there stupefied forever, miss. Why is your head too small for your body? Huh? Where is this? Beats me. Ugh. 
I'm alive. I'm not even hurt. Suspicious. <gasps> People! Punk lady. Who the hell are you guys? Where even is this? Giant. <laughs> I can't imagine where this was lifted from. Certainly not 999. Um... Like, we've got any idea ourselves. Calm down, lady. Woman in overalls. Is there no one here who can explain? Man in apron. Just what is going on? How troubling. They seem too distracted to take any notice of me. Oh, no. Who's this Kamaita-headed fucker? What in the world is happening? Who are we gonna talk to first? Some slightly calmer people are talking on the left. What's going on? Feels like we're wrapped up in something outrageous. <gasps> he's got a Pac-Man on him? It's making me think of that thing with the guy where he's like, I love Pac-Man. When I think about him, I just get, oh, I've electrified in my nipples. <laughs> yes, it would appear so. Huh? Have I seen this person somewhere? Oh. Okay, frightened girl. Whom I will call Buckethead from now on. Oh! The girl squatting seems terribly frightened. Did something happen? In the center, there's a discussion happening centered around a single man. Now hold on a second, we should confirm what each of us knows. That's all well and good, but I don't even know where this is. I had quite a terrible experience earlier, so I can't reclaim calm. <laughs> they seem pretty confused. Huh? Joe? He's also wearing one of those collars. The shiver I touched my own neck. There was something. A collar? Can't get it off. <laughs> that feel when you wanna when you wanna do some self-soothing and you just can't get into the right mood. Everyone here had a collar put on them! Um, so this looks like the most interesting group of people with Punk Lady and uh, Midget Cosplayer Nepeta, I guess, and whoever this is. Looking right, I noticed an especially restless woman. Ah, we've been abducted by some crazy assholes! Strange child. Be quiet, meow. Don't scream in my ear. Woo! H hey, now. Fighting's no good. Oh, you're the Oma. Um, he's the plant. I could feel the tension in the air. There's even a grade school age kid? No, she's not. She's gonna be in her high school. Can't go anywhere. Uh... Their discussion is still going on. Finally, my head was starting to clear. There are 11 people here, including myself, meaning that we're now in between a Zero Escape game, more or less, or at a Zero Escape game, and a little bit less than Dom Nom, and same, same area as Exile Election. All of us are wearing collars. Why isn't Joe coming over to me? Has he not noticed I'm awake? <laughs> uh, that's funny, I'm doing that. Joe! Ow! Maybe that was too much force. Joe, so you're okay! Who are you? What? What kind of joke was that? 
are you saying? I'm Sara. Did you forget your own friend's face? Don't tell me. He's seriously saying he doesn't know me or something? Could you be the Sara who's a terrible swimmer? Ugh. Joe, this is not the time for jokes. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> hmm. Joe and Sara, hey? No, our names are... Uh... <laughs> Canny and... Um... Gomamon. You two are friends? Huh? Yeah, we are. Thanks for that. Joe here wasn't speaking up, I see. Must have been wary of something. Wouldn't even tell me his name. Alright, everybody. Listen up. I bet we're all thinking the same thing. What is this place? Why was I brought here? And about all you know is who you are. What are you getting at, I wonder? How about we give introdu- I love how that guy's like, total like, ninth man Komaida bait. How about we give introductions? Huh, Japanese people introducing themselves? <laughs> she needs the suspicion a little, at least. Introductions, you say? What else can we do, right? Eh, hey, Sarah? Huh, you're asking me. Eh, whatever. True, I do want to confirm our situation. See, calm ones know what to say. Okay, once you're ready, it's introduction time. Just tell me when, Sara. Right then, time to give introductions? Well, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Okie dokie. Introduction. I fucking wish this was how it fucking worked in real life. Um, this would be fucking incredible. Like, if, say if you went to like a Nomikai or a Gokon or something. <laughs> this is how it how it went down. <clears throat> so then, I think we should all get to know each other a little more. Yeah. So. Mom tells me not to give personal info to strange guys that don't know one. Stupendous! A level-headed child who does as his parents teach him. Yet, this is indeed an emergency. Hmm. Then we must prove that adults are not suspicious characters. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Super suspicious! Oof. Hmm, nothing for it. Where should we start? Oh. Hey, you can keep it simple. Name and occupation. Just take turns saying them. Do I get options for other things? I guess I don't. Okay. That's the ticket. You didn't give me a choice. Hmm, <laughs> got it. Where ones can be for later. Raise your hand if you don't mind blabbing. <laughs> Development. <laughs> Hello. I am Kazumi Mishima. I teach at a certain high school. <laughs> okay. Mishima level craziness. Huh? You're a school teacher? Oh, the world's going to a going to the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Deko Yabusame. I'm a singer songwriter. So you're the you're the rain in the bush, I guess. Hmm. I'll have to look up what everybody. I'll have to look up what everybody's uh, kanji names are. <laughs> So far, they're kind of dumb. Oh, I think I've seen you in, in magazines. You're the Reiko Yabusame? Oh, man. It'd be pretty sick, actually, if you were 
the mastermind here. Dude, is this the time? Sorry. I am Kai Sato. I'm a rather unremarkable homemaker. What's with the stuff behind you? It's a frying pan, and a ladle, and a spatula. I didn't mean like that. <laughs> Cute Tara Burgerberg! I'm a baseball player! Second string, though. Whoa, that's why you're so big! 193 centimeters, baby! And strong to boot, you hear? Seems no one else wants to talk. Well then, Sara, how about you try asking things to people you want to hear from? M me Yep, unlike me, people aren't wary of you, right? <laughs> also, I'm the Shujinko here. <laughs> Thanks. I understand. I do want to question people, but... I'm kind of worried about her. I'll start with who I'm most concerned about. How many times do I get to use it, though? Like... Trample, trample, trample. Oh. <laughs> She's not in a condition to talk. Are you okay? <laughs> you sound like, um... It. Don't be afraid. I won't do anything. I gently placed my hand on her trembling back. Huh? Th thank you very much. It seems she calmed down a little. I'll try talking to her again. Tremble, tremble, tremble. Still in no condition to talk. Oh, I can, okay, I can talk to you guys. Heiku Yabisame, I'm a singer-songwriter. Just like the gaudy guy said, my band's, band's made enough of a name to get into magazines. Don't call me the gaudy guy. Sorry, Hade boy. We would finally made it to the starting line. The whole future stretched ahead of us. Um, is that makeup for performances? Like hell! Fans weep if I went on stage looking this plain. That's plain? I finished a new track, so I plan to meet up with my bandmates. And then this shit happens! A session, I guess? Naturally, all my stuff's gone. My precious bongos, my phone, my wig, it's all gone! Bongos? Goddamn kidnapper, if you throw out my stuff, I'm gonna beat your ass so hard! Is now the time to worry about belongings? Some of that stuff's as important as my life! Uh, I'm sorry! All her stuff was taken, huh? I'm Qtaro Burgerberg, baseball player! Yeah, I'm a ball player, but if you work out too much and hurt yourself, you'll never hit the big leagues. Even among this bunch, this guy stands out. <laughs> no kidding, what is it indeed? Group at a strange orphanage, so probably it's a mix of a whole bunch. But it was in Japan, so that's my nationality. Parents left when I was little, though, and I don't know where I was born. Ain't nothing can't be fixed if you talk it out. Ain't nothing can't be fixed if you talk it out. Incidentally, I believe baseball has positions. <laughs> are you- would you say you are more of a pitcher or a catcher, Kutaro, my man? <laughs> I'm a pitcher, confident in my batting, too, and I was lucky enough to go to Central League. Um, I'm assuming that's Koshian. <laughs> He's a pitcher. He's a pitcher, fellas. I don't really follow, but does that mean you're good at both throwing the ball and hitting it with a bat? 
my god, this sounds like my Israeli coworker. We took her to a baseball game one time and she was just like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. I don't know baseball either, but he sounds like he's pretty proud of his strength. I was all happy after a long come and comeback game, so I went out drinking, but then I don't remember a thing. And when I woke up, I got this collar on in this place, like I'm a dog or something. Such a bummer! can't believe I can't get this thing off. <laughs> That's what I said, too. All right. Even his strength can't remove it. Hmm. My best meal is Eggs Benedict. A chef, eh? No, not a chef, but a homemaker. Akin to a house husband. Same difference if you both make tasty food. I suppose so. I feel like I've met this person somewhere before. Oh, the frying pen and whatnot. They were in a room I was in earlier. So you got them after arriving here? Yes, that's correct. I felt they could offer protection. Ah. It didn't even occur to me, but would you like to use one? Huh? For protection? Yes, I'll offer anything but the frying pan. <laughs> then I'll pass. I had met him somewhere, but talking to him, it doesn't feel that way at all. Is it just my imagination? Perhaps I should discard my cookware. Hmm, but it could be useful for something, like cooking. At the least, I bet I could make Eggs Benedict. Yeah, I'd remember if I'd met such a weirdo. Speaking of weirdos... I'm Kazumi Mishima, I teach at a certain high school. <laughs> Incidentally, I teach Japanese and art. Mwah! <laughs> huh? A school teacher? Can't picture it. Indeed, I hear that often. Really? I can totally picture it. <laughs> I've got no right to say it, but you're suspicious from every angle. <gasps> you truly don't have any right to say that. Apologize to the professor, please. Whoa now, what's this, little miss? Pardon? You see, she's a former student of mine. Please forgive her. He's a really good teacher. Please don't judge a book by its cover. I suppose my appearance is shitty after all. Uh, how shocking. Well, well, I don't have much else to judge on. Don't know much about you either, little miss. I'll introduce myself. There's nothing guilty about us. Well, excuse me. It's time to cool down, yes. Should I ask Professor Mishima something? Alright, so overalls is easily swayed into cults. Hmm, I don't recall earning anyone's ire. I see. Unless you count God! <laughs> of course, surely there have been times I've been disliked by students, but... <laughs> this is just a really intense version of Rate My Professor. <laughs> no, no student would cause such an incident, so I'd like to believe. Oh, good. You're on the kitty kitty jean model. For after all, as you can see, I even have my students who come visit me after graduation. <laughs> I believe we made it through the first trial thanks to our combined knowledge as well. The first trial? Alright, uh, yeah. I I'm a former student of Professor Mishima's, currently at an art college. My name is Nao Egokoro. Oh my god. Egokoro. Uh, it's thanks to Professor Mishima that I'm able to attend an art college now. <laughs> Professor's a good person. Please believe me. Sara! I'm not especially doubting it. Yep. Just Mr. Policeman here who suspected him. <laughs> then please repent! Sure. Professor Mishima's not suspicious. So, so you understand. In that case, my work here is done. trial? It was terrifying. It was a game where we were tied to beds and we had to escape with just one key. It's the same thing we did. I, Professor Mishima instructed me to use the sandpaper on the key and then I unlocked his restraints. Honestly, it's thanks to him I was able to stay calm. Something just occurred to me. So, if 
if I had chosen to use the key on myself, would that have auto automatically made um, Joe like the the green bed, or like could he perma die there? Hmm. Trust. Was that a game that evaluated trust? Why would the culprit make us do that? Why why do why do people do anything? Were they watching? Watching a despicable game that toys with people's lives? Mm, hey, I mean, that's what I'm into. Sorry, are you okay? You look angry. I'm fine. I don't like that policeman, but I kind of like you, Sara. <laughs> Thank you for the ringing endorsement. Huh? Please take good care of your friend. Uh. Huh? Did I not introduce myself? Name's Keiji Shinogi. Working as a policeman. Huh? Police? Got it. So don't trouble your friendly policeman. Well, not that I'm really that sort of cop. Then you should have mentioned that sooner. Uh, I got abducted in the middle of an investigation. It was tough to find a chance to spill it. Should've, shouldn't have been wary. Damn it! I wonder if we got caught by that criminal group. Group of petty thieves. I doubt they're related to this, honestly. Yeah, they go by some name called, like, Chokoko Kino Zetsubo or something. It's fine. Is your coworker not here? Sure isn't. So it's not like everyone came here in pairs. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, are you serious right now? Like, yeah, people clearly did fucking come in pairs because, um, you know, you already have evidence that that was the case and the first trial is the same for everyone. So it means that his fucking partner didn't make it out. Fucking Christ. Me and Sara are high school classmates. Sara was being harassed by a so stalker, so I went home with her that day. And there was an incident, so I called the police, but... I heard Sara screaming, so I ran upstairs. And there stood that damn stalker! Huh? That's the first I've heard of that. <laughs> Didn't have a chance to mention it. So I worked up all my courage to punch the guy. Of course, I'm awful at fighting, so since I don't remember winning, I'm guessing I lost. That's why I know that stalker is the culprit in this case. Interesting. Go on. Sorry, but that's all I got. Since I fainted. Then again, this isn't a stunt just one jerk stalker could pull off by himself. It's an organized crime. Right, Mr. Cop? Could be. I wonder if there's one among us. A collaborator with the culprit playing the victim to blend in. Huh? Hearing Joe say that I understood. I was in that kind of game. Why he'd been so wary, acting so strange. <laughs> what is it? You want to laugh? Can't say there isn't. You sure are funny. Hoo-hoo! I hate this guy. Collaborator with the culprit. Maybe there could be something like that. Ah, I should introduce myself too soon too, huh? Fine, I can read the room. One, it's you know the mature response. Yeah. Well then, so should I introduce myself now too? My name's Soul Hiori. Hiori Soul. Er, well, just a job hopper. <laughs> so live in hand to mouth. Yeah. Hey, don't put it like that. It's not a ton, but I've got savings. Why wouldn't you introduce yourself at first? Naturally, I was wary like Joe was. Plus, saying I'm a job hopper is a little embarrassing. <laughs> Just make up some line, yeah? You're honest to a fault. One! H hey now, I don't know about that. You can't trust people like that, right? He's always smiling. He seems kind. Or maybe more timid. Or maybe you're an idiot. <laughs> Come on now, don't look at me so pitifully. Sorry, you seem steadfast and strong. I'm jealous. What are you saying? Actually, I wanted to ask something. Gosh, feels like you're asking 
things in such a first things first way. I was on my usual part-time job at the convenience store. It's a bad part of town, and I'm aware of how dangerous it can be out at night. But the night shift wagers are good, so... Suddenly someone attacked me. I don't remember what else happened then. <sighs> Sorry, I can't remember anything much. Well, neither can we. Right. Don't sweat it. Once you get home, go find a job. Yeah. Ugh. Job hunting. Steady work. Looks like he's being crushed not only in, under his immediate fear, but an uncertain future. So he has not much to lose, eh? Alright, kid. You can read the tune too, yeah. Oh. I have a thing that maybe is here. I ordered a book that just came in. All right. Okay. My name is is Gin Ibushi. Oh, I'm a sixth grader. Yeah. Great introduction, kiddo. Don't call me a kid. I just introduced myself because you guys didn't seem like anything special. One. Do you remember anything about why you were brought to this place? Uh, no. Mom was late coming home, so I stayed up to wait, and I heard the intercom, so I thought she was back, and I opened the door. Yeah. Different grown-up was standing there. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember anything else. Woo. I see. Keen. Don't give me those looks. Woo. I'm a strong boy. Yeah. He's acting tough, but he must be scared. Yeah. Work together? Woo -hoo! Right. Not all grown-ups are bad, Gein. Can I believe that? Yeah. Of course. Only trust you, Big Sis Sara. Woo! B big Sis? Huh? It's not Big Bro, is it? Maybe I got it wrong, yeah. That's not the problem. If I had a little brother, I wonder if he'd talk to me like that. Are you chill now? Are you okay? If you've calmed down, could you talk to me? Um... I'll say I'm Kana Kizuchi. She's able to talk now. Kana, could you tell me more about yourself? Okay. Uh, I'm in middle school and, um... It's okay, you don't need to rush coming home with my big sister. We were eating ice cream. We were just walking along and talking about what to have for dinner. Suddenly, some scary people came out from a black car parked in the road. I see, that must have been frightening. Yeah. Her sister. What she just said makes it sound like the two of them were kidnapped, but there's only Kana here. Just a hunch, but I feel like it would be bad to ask about it now. Could you tell me about what happened after you arrived here? Here? After I came here. My sister. My sister. It's my fault. I I can't scream. <laughs> it's physically impossible for me to scream. Beep. 
Sarah, how's Connor looking? Looks like she's passed out. Damn it, this is some messed up shit. She died? What the hell did this poor girl do, huh? This culprit even got a heart? Seems like this isn't some joke or a prank. I don't like this. This is just too awful. Just do. Hey now, everybody. Don't lose your cool. I've got your friendly policeman here. Hey, KG, You're the reliable one here. What should we do? Wow, you sure changed your tune. Well, first things first. Why don't we confirm what each of us has found in this place? That sounds like a good plan. That's just what I was thinking of saying. See, I picked up this thing. <gasps> we can we can evolve our Electabuzz into Electivire. Oh, it's a huge box, nya. Bet you can fit a whole watermelon in there. Looking at the camera. Was this from the first trial? Yep. Though, I mean, bringing this box was the point of the first trial. Say what? Did some people have different first trials? We can discuss that later. First off, let's open this box. It ain't gonna. It's got those keyholes, see? Sorry, do you have any ideas? What, me? I just like catching you off guard. That's a lousy reason. Controls. Touch an item in your possession, and you can use that item on a person or object. Alright, what do I have? I forget. Oh, right, I have a key. Large box. Big enough to fit a watermelon. <laughs> this is it! Key fits perfectly in the hole. There are three keyholes, which means... <gasps> Can we use our key, too? Let's try it. Oh, and I wonder if Kana... Took the red key from Kana's clothes. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> it's not whittled down, but I'll give it a shot. The other two keys also fit perfectly! Alright, this might be dangerous, so leave it to the policeman. And it's open. What's inside? Ah, uh, you might not want to look. What's in the box? Unfortunately, I saw it before KG could speak. Inside was... A person's head. Oh, so it is the same as Seven. Ah! No! F for real? <laughs> Wait, isn't that just a doll? Huh? Oh, you're right. Hmm, a letter? Find my body, bring me back, for I don't have arms or legs. Find her body? Where could the body be? Well, I don't know, we're standing in a hallway full of doors, man. I figured we're gonna go look for shit. It's not gonna be like just a long Scooby-Doo chase sequence. Do we even need to find it, yeah? This could be a trap! Woo! That's true. I don't think there's any need to do what the letter says. I think it's about time that we search outside of this room. Uh, isn't it dangerous? I want to get back home. I can't just sit still here. Let's move in groups. So that no one does anything suspicious, right? I'm scared. If there's some other horrible device like the first trial. Me and Nao can go look after Ka look after Kana. If you guys are in danger, haul ass back here. Well then, who should I go with? I like that it's like, Joe, someone trustworthy, someone to keep an eye on, or act alone. And Joe is like outside of all of those options. <laughs> That's really funny to me. Um, man, I should have made a save. Uh, I'm gonna go with... Hmm... Someone to keep an eye on. Let's see. Kai acts so strangely, and I can't really find myself trusting Keiji. And Kyutaro doesn't seem like a bad person, but... Thinking like this is just going to make me suspect everything. Hey, Sara, could we search together? Huh? S sorry if you can't trust me, that's fine. It's not anything like that, just... Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I trust you too, Sara. <laughs> But throwing around a word like trust just makes you look suspicious, huh? No, no, it's not like I 
really distrust you so, despite the fact that you're very obviously... Alright, let's get searching around. Don't have any big spills, guys. And be sure to share any info you find. Discussion end. I like that, um, this person has, uh... I, I really like that, um, the dev of this game is, uh, has all these, like, funny, like, nods to things, like, you know, Q and, um, what's it called and stuff? Uh, Zero Escape. Alright, Sara, should we go? First trial, a doll head, and a body? Oh, let's try to find some kind of clue. Alright, and that's where I'm gonna stop for today. Um, let me make another save. Um, alrighty, cool. Our bangs are stupid as fuck. I just realized that. <laughs> uh, Alright, team. Um, next time I will uh, play some more of this. Um, probably in another week or so, or maybe a couple days, depending on how much time I have and um, whatever. But I'm really enjoying the game so far. Um, it's fun, and it's not super, super interesting yet, but I think there's... So there's some potential here for sure and it's definitely up my alley so all right everybody i will catch you later and have a great weekend